welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica and I own Lather Rinse Repeat Retail, which is a reselling site that sells predominantly on Poshmark, but a little bit on Facebook Marketplace, and I'm getting into Depop and eBay as well. Today I wanted to talk about something that happened to me during the month of January that I have not seen very many videos on YouTube discuss. And that is what happens when somebody opens a case against you on Poshmark for something that you've sold them. So I have been a reseller on Poshmark now since January of 2020. I had been just cleaning out my closet and making sales from that way. I'd maybe made five max purchases of things to resell. And then over the holidays, I decided that I was going to scale up my business and see if I could actually maybe potentially do this, if not full-time someday, at least part-time in the meantime. So I have been ramping up my business over the past two months. And during the month of January 2021, I had two cases against me from buyers who were unhappy. I guess maybe technically three, but I'll get into why it's really two, two cases that were opened and what happened. So I really just kind of was going along thinking that I was going to dodge the case bullet for the rest of my life. <laughs> I was selling, not misrepresenting anything, not selling anything to anyone that I thought that they could be in a position to make a complaint about. So I thought, you know what, it's never going to happen to me. But that is absolutely just not going to be the case if you have a reselling business. This is something that's going to happen to you, whether someday, eventually, it's going to happen to you for sure. So my first one, uh, I actually moved in with my boyfriend over the month of January. And I was making sales at the same time. This is a bad idea. So one, I really didn't know where a lot of my stock was. I did try to keep very good track of it and make sure that I knew which boxes were going where. Um, I lived in a really small apartment by myself before and I've had, I have a really good memory, first of all. So I had things tucked in a few different spots, but I always kind of knew where everything was. So in the transition of moving, I think I ended up, my ship time increased because took me a day or two to find things sometimes. And then I made a grave error. Two people ordered something on the same day and in my frazzled moving stage, I located everything, I packaged it up, I shipped it out off my plate. And both of these buyers live in BC and I live in Halifax, which is obviously on almost the opposite end of the country. So they took a little while to get there. Anyway, I never really thought anything about it again. You know, you see that something's shipped, it hasn't arrived yet. I don't, I don't obsessively check unless I think that something's getting to be a pretty long time. But this was Canada Post during COVID, cleaning up after Christmas. It took a while, but I didn't really think that much about it. Anyway, I was at work one day and I saw the notification that somebody had opened a case against me and my heart just absolutely sank. I was like, oh my god, what could possibly be wrong with this moisturizer that this person would need to open a case against me? It was brand new in box, like I had never opened it, opened it just to take a photo of it. Uh, and anyway, I had mixed up the shipping labels and this person who ordered a moisturizer ended up with a bodysuit. So obviously they weren't happy, right? And I just felt so stupid. So, 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 so stupid. And I immediately reached out to the other buyer who hadn't received their item yet and was like, hey, I know you ordered a bodysuit, but you're about to get a moisturizer. So what happened? So I contacted um, Poshmark via the... When somebody opens a case against you, you have the opportunity to reply. So in my reply, I just said, obviously, I'm going to own this mistake. I don't know what happens here, but if you want to cancel the sale, basically, I understand. So Poshmark, in all of their generosity, provided each of the buyers with their own shipping label to ship the items back to each other, which was great in the sense that they both lived in BC and they each got their items like a day or two later versus having to send them back to me in Nova Scotia and me re-correcting the order, shipping them back, would have taken forever. So, 
Long story short, both buyers got the right item eventually. And they were both so kind about it. And they still gave me five star reviews and bless them both. 0.0001% chance that you're, you're watching this. But if you are, thank you. I should have put my closet on holiday to move. That is a new lesson and one that I'm going to provide to all of you right now. If you are in a frazzled time of your life, even if you're not actually on vacation, put that closet on hold because it's so easy to make a mistake. Like I pride myself on being such a super organized person and I royally screwed up. So yeah, that was the first case, which is kind of two cases. That's why I said kind of three. So the second one actually happened just two days ago. Uh, a person had bought a face cream from me. I, I sell a lot of face, like skincare and makeup and stuff in my, in my Poshmark closet as well. Anyway, so they had bought this cream from me and pretty standard sale. I, I sell cream all the time. I ship it new in the box as per Canada Post guidelines. And I always put it in a bubble mailer so that it's extra protected. So this person got it and it was a glass bottle and it, the product was smashed, it was everywhere. So of course they open a case like they would as any, any person would. I have no animosity towards the buyer whatsoever for that. And as soon as, you know, they have to submit a photo and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, that sucks. Like I thought that I had shipped it in a protective way, in a way that was not going to break the bottle. So yeah, I felt really bad. I just replied. I was like, oh, I don't know how this happened. Like I just, I thought I packed it well enough. The buyer actually provided a theory that makes total sense now that she has said it. Um, she thinks that perhaps the product froze. So maybe it was just outside for too long and uh, Canada Post uses trailers that they store for one to two days before they actually move it. Uh, they're not reefer trailers, so they're not heated. So she thinks that the product probably froze, broke the glass bottle because she said there was no damage on the box, meaning like that it could have been crushed or smashed. So I felt really bad. Obviously you don't want a buyer to be having to pay for something that they can't even use. But me as a shipper, I didn't really want to lose out on the cost of goods for that item either. So I, I wrote in my response to, to the case, I'm so sorry that this happened, and I hope that Poshmark uh, acts in a way that doesn't penalize either of us considering I wrapped the package, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I did get an email almost 24 hours later from Poshmark saying that they refunded the buyer and they released the funds to me and they considered the damaged product a lost parcel. So that was the obvious best outcome that could have happened. And yeah, that's my experience with both cases being opened against me. I have been super lucky that Poshmark kind of stepped in and helped me in both situations. So thank you Poshmark for that. I have not had an experience with a bad buyer yet. Hopefully never. I know that that's probably not going to remain the case as I do try to grow and scale this business. But yeah, this is just a topic that, I mean, I can't say I've ever searched for it, but I've watched a lot of Poshmark videos on YouTube about certain things getting me prepared for increasing my, my sales, and I, I never came across one that was about people who open case. I do follow the Poshmark Reddit, and there's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of complaining about people opening cases there but nev never like what really happens when one opens. So both times I have been really lucky. One time, obviously 100% my fault. And I, I would have understood if both of those buyers were just shipped them back to me and didn't want to buy them anymore. Uh, but I got really super lucky and they still wanted the products and they were great buyers and I hope they shot my closet again. And the second time was just sort of like a crappy shipping problem that sucked but I'm also really glad that Poshmark didn't penalize either myself or the person who bought it. So let me know in the comments if you have ever had any cases open against you and what happened in those instances, because this is a topic that I think that us as resellers should discuss more to figure out how these sort of things, first of all, can be maybe avoided, and second, how what happens, because it sort of just seemed like something I was just waiting for and it was going to be the scariest thing ever and they kind of just turned out to be not so big of a deal. 
Anyway, if you are interested in following along the Lather, Rinse, Repeat retail reselling, that's a lot of R's, um, business, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well, Lather, Rinse, Repeat retail and shop my closet if you wanted to have a little look at what I've got going on over there. My closet's name is LRR underscore retail. I should not allowed to have that long of a name on Poshmark. Um, anyway, yeah, let me know if you like this video and we will cover another topic again soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.